This is General Hammond, medical and decontamination teams to the gate room. What happened to him? I thought he was with the Asgard. Daniel, don't. The radiation. Colonel! You're alive. Why, yes, I am. Children, what's going on? Um, we've had an unexpected visitor. Oh? Unexpected, you say? What kind of visitor? Well, apparently, it's you. Well, I've lost some weight. Okay, so we've got a gate address and some sacred texts. Tilk, you're sure P3X314 doesn't look familiar? It does not, nor will it become more familiar by the repeated asking of the same question. No, right. Sorry. I just, uh, you see these, these other images, uh, are... Well, actually, they're writings. Yes, yes, they are writings. What do they mean? Well, this one's a date. It corresponds roughly with August 13th, 1003 AD. And this one says something about an arrow. Well, I'm not sure that makes much sense. Rarely does. Okay, hold on a second. Carter, what do we know about these spectacles? Colonel, this technology is phenomenal. It could potentially hold gigabytes of data. These images, maps, real-time communication, they're all displayed right before your eyes. Imagine the possibilities. Yes. Yes, I'm imagining. The point is, sir, that nothing like this exists. Y yet. Now, when you say yet... Well, we know it wasn't you who died in the gate room today. But at least... Not yet. Uh, I get it. Oh, I need an aspirin. Okay, hold on a second. Yes, yes, they are writings. What do they mean? Well, this one's a date. It corresponds roughly with August 13th, 1003 AD. And this one says something about an arrow. Well, I'm not sure that makes much sense. Rarely does. Okay, hold on a second. Colonel, we just got UAV footage back from 314. Why don't we look at the footage, sir? Oh, wow. Okay, see that? That's a temple. You can see the whole complex. And that... A village? It is a slave encampment, Daniel Jackson. Nice. What we're looking at, people, is a hostile planet. Yes, sir, but the area around the Stargate's only lightly guarded. We should be able to gate in and out without attracting too much attention. Okay, hold on a second.
Why don't we look at the footage, sir? Oh, wow. Well. Okay. See that? That's a temple. You can see the whole complex. And that... A village? It is a slave encampment, Daniel Jackson. Nice. What we're looking at, people, is a hostile planet. Yes, sir, but the area around the Stargate's only lightly guarded. We should be able to gate in and out without attracting too much attention. Okay, hold on a second. We've got to check out P3X314, sir. Nevertheless, Senator Kenzie won't like it. Kinsey can kiss my sweet, hairy... Colonel! Aunt. I was going to say aunt. I'll handle Senator Kenzie. You figure out what the devil's going on there. SG-1, you have a go. Nice and easy. Carter, take point. Tilk, cover my hairy ass. Sir, watch out! Um, from the smell, I'd say these pots contain some kind of gasoline. Enough to blow something up? Actually, it's most likely a weak explosive. It could blow something up, but we're not talking the 4th of July here. 
Um, from the smell, I'd say these pods contain some kind of gasoline. Well, I didn't realize death gliders ran on gasoline. Actually, it's most likely a weak explosive. Could blow something up, but we're not talking the 4th of July here. It's blocked. There's no way through, sir. Yeah, a little C4 should do the trick. I don't think so, sir. We probably need some kind of explosive, but not C4. That could bring this whole structure down. We need something that doesn't pack such a punch. I have seen this device before, O'Neill. It is a key. I believe it will open the door. Thank you. 
Hurry! Okay, so, this is interesting. Looks like we're dealing with Sekhmet, the daughter of Ra. Ra had a daughter? Oh yeah. And she's a naughty girl. Al Jafar knew the name Sekhmet. She who defied her father and was forever banished. So, Ra grounded her. Indeed. Sekhmet has not been seen among the Goa'uld for over a thousand years. Oh, look at this. Sekhmet's a warrior goddess who draws her power from the sun. Her symbol's the Aten, a uh, solar disk surrounded by Urius. That's a uh, snake. Oh, that figures. Did you say solar disk? Yeah, the Aten is... Because I think this device is linked to something in the solar orbit. Something. As in, a big honking weapon? I don't think so. It looks like it triggers the release of magnetic energy in naturally active regions of the solar atmosphere. It stimulates solar flares, sir. And why does it do that? Well, theoretically, if you could stimulate solar flares within specific parameters, you could use the Atten device in conjunction with the Stargate to travel through time. Which explains the other, Jack O'Neill. So you're saying we have a ghoul loose in the timeline? Maybe more than one, sir. Apparently a ghoul named Amun is on his way here to meet with Sekhmet. Do we know why? No. We need more intel, sir. And I'm gonna bet I will find some answers in that slave camp.